According to a U.S. consumer injury database, more than 4,000 emergency room visits are attributed each year to an elevator door closing on a body part or a walker being wedged between the doors. These incidents occur for a number of reasons, but generally relate to the detection capability of the door reopening mechanism. To reduce the number of incidents that occur each year, the elevator industry advocated for changes that were adopted in the 2019 safety code for elevators and escalators, known as NCA17.1 2019 for the United States and CSA B44-19 for Canada. Section 2.13.5 of the code defines the requirements for reopening devices used in horizontal sliding doors and gates. Persons or objects are classified as either being in the door path or approaching the elevator entrance. Specific performance requirements are defined for each case. Additionally, the detection means is now required to be self-monitored to ensure that it continues to function normally. The development of the CapSafe system required interdisciplinary collaboration and coordination of different teams within the CEDIS organization. Our goal has always been to provide a robust, user-friendly system that is easy to install and to maintain. Other design goals included, the system must operate without any PC software configuration. The system must work in both center opening and side opening applications. The light curtain must be suitable for both moving and stationary mounting and the 3D sensor cannot infringe the clear opening of the entrance. A typical CapSafe system consists of three main components. A CapSafe 2D light curtain, a CapSafe 3D time of flight sensor mounted in or on the transom, and a CapSafe controller. Let's take a moment to review the functions for each of these components. The CapSafe 2D light curtain consists of a transmitter and receiver that have a defined field of infrared light beams that are used to detect the presence of objects in the path of the elevator cap doors. The CapSafe 2D detection field is made up of crisscross beams that remains operational from full open to full door closure. In addition to fulfilling the code requirements, the transmitter and the receiver are electrically synchronized to provide robust performance in two days age infrared security devices and for ambient sunlight immunity. These sensors are rated IP65 for strong durability in damp and wet environments and our cables have excellent bending performance. Further, the mounting is compatible with existing installations, making modernization a snap. A person or object that infringes the detection field will be communicated to the CapSafe controller as well as shown on the LED indicator on the receiver unit. The CapSafe 3D time of flight sensor is used to detect the presence of approaching objects in accordance with code requirements. This sensor monitors the area in front of the elevator cap opening and captures 9600 discrete points of distance information 20 times each second. This distance information is then used to analyze changes occurring in front of the elevator cap entrance. Objects approaching the elevator cap are communicated to the CapSafe controller. Stationary objects are ignored after a short time so that plants or luggage won't hold the elevator from servicing other calls. A single multicolor indicator LED shows the status of the sensor. The CapSafe 3D fulfills the code requirements for many different types of entrance opening geometries. A single CapSafe 3D sensor version supports left, right and center opening entrances, entrance heights to 3 meters and entrance width to 1.37 meters. A robust mounting solution is standard using our flash mount bracket that is included with the sensor. Optionally, customers can choose a stainless steel back of transom bracket. Regardless of which bracket is used, the sensor only extends a few millimeters below the transom. It is protected from being struck by equipment entering the elevator cap. Both CapSafe 2D light curtain and CapSafe 3D sensor are connected to and controlled by CapSafe controller. The CapSafe controller fulfills several door protection functions. It provides for system configuration. It monitors the status of the CapSafe 2D and CapSafe 3D sensor. It performs the self-monitoring function of both detection means as required by the code, and it renders the CapSafe 3D sensor inoperative in accordance by the code requirement. Configuration of the CapSafe controller 
is simple to implement by just using few dip switches. Configurable parameters include the height of the elevator entrance, whether the application is left side, right side, or center opening. If the light curtains are stationary or move with the elevator cap door or doors, and when the output should be active, either when a person or object is detected or both detection fields are clear. Additionally, CapShift controller is currently available with a 24 volt DC input power with either a solid state output or a potential free relay output. Users can also choose whether they want the controller as a bare printed circuit board, a printed circuit board on a DIN rail mounted PCB carrier, the printed circuit board in an enclosure, or a wide ranging CapSafe MOD controller that supports both 20 to 37 volt DC and 120 to 40 volts AC, which is currently under development. Status indicator on the CapSafe controller show the status of the CapSafe 2D and CapSafe 3D devices, as well as any other condition that could exist. In summary, CDIS CapSafe can be used to fulfill the requirements defined in the section 2.13.5 of the 2019 Safety Code for Elevators and Escalators. It is an elegant and robust solution that fulfills the detection requirements defined by the code, integrates easily to the elevator control system and minimizes intrusion into the clear opening of the entrance area. Installation is straightforward with simple dip switch system configuration. Not only has CDIS ensured that the CapSafe system meets our rigorous testing requirements, we have been third-party certified to NCA17.1-2019 and NCA17.5-2019 and the corresponding Canadian standards. For additional information, including copies of our third-party certificates, please visit our website cdis.com or contact your local CDIS representative. Thank you very much for your attention.